Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? Did we all have a lovely Christmas? Get this wire out of the way. Get out of the way. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. So over on Twitch, I see Hydrated Pelican. I see Amber Wakeling, Monkey Rain, Tom L99507, Ben Boy, a uh, Benny Boy, Matthew Plays, Master Temple, Harry's Nan, Dehydrated Pelican, <laughs> Total Coins, I Can Levitate. Who's over on YouTube? We've got Alexandra. Holy um, Toledo. We've got Chris GCFC82. Uh, thank you very much, Dehydrated Pelican. Uh, we've got David Jesse. Paint still toxic. Ruben D. Holy Toledo. Duck. Uh, Mango memes. Black fluff. Uh, Les likes coins. Toxic again. The humpinator. I have almost the same amount as Chris because my mum works at Westminster Coins, so I get free coins sent to my house uh, from my mum's boss. Wow, that's awesome. Mango moose. Ben Bramford. Cole's adventure. Jim Bone. Hello, Coin Cupboard. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Liam Barnes, Ashley Sparrowhawk. Uh, Tom. I'm the Tom who sent you the fan mail that had a list of all the characters I meant to say Um Pa Pa for the Oliver Roll song and Angel, not Argle, for the Roll and Beauty School dropout. Well, thank you very much for writing in. That was very kind of you. Uh, Melissa jo uh, Johns. Uh, John RMS, hello to you. Happy holidays to you as well. What did everyone else? What did everyone get for Christmas then? What did we all get for Christmas? Put my phone away. <coughs> We're about six minutes till we till we um start getting to the hunt. My Christmas was fantastic. Thank you. Very very lazy. Didn't get up to much. Just what I needed. Scott Rose says, my wife thinks I'm sad. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Tom got recklessly drunk. Wow. I know how that feels. <laughs> uh, Matthew Plays says, uh, hi, Christopher. I went to see the new Star Wars. Did you enjoy it? So I won't spoil it because it's still quite soon for it coming out. And people are busy over Christmas uh, period, so they might not have seen it if they're planning to. But I loved it. Holy every last moment of it. I thought it was amazing. Sabertooth Duck, one, two, three, join the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much. Pacham Reddit says, Hi, Chris, did you get my message on Twitter? I did. Thank you. Um, I am on, in the process of verifying you. But big congratulations to Pajama Reddit for being the change checker Christmas giveaway winner. So well done to you. Patrice Pelican got Silver Fire of London and a Q. Wow. Very nice. And it's Cinderfella, not Cinderella. How is it? Fair enough. Can you make a Holy Toledo t-shirt? There is already a Holy Toledo t-shirt available over on my Teespring site. There are links down in the description if you want to Holy Toledo. Uh, the All I Want for Christmas is queue jumpers are coming down the 1st of January. So now is your chart, like your last chance to head over and grab yourself one of them. Uh, David Smith says, uh, Hi Christopher, I might start my own uh, channel coin hunting in February. Awesome. Uh, Ryan's Graphics says, Hello. Hello to you too. Holy Toledo from Mango Memes. What was that Holy Toledo? It was Matthew Plays hosting me with a viewer. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Sabertooth Duck. I got my first two pound coin. Uh, the Slave Trade one. Very nice. Liam Bond got a Bismuth. Crystal. Oh, Crystal. Mm, sounds pretty. Hello Katie Jones and Ryan's Graphics. Paul's Coins says, good luck to David Smith. Yeah, definitely good luck. Coins and more UK says, did you have a good Christmas, buddy? I did, thank you. Fantastic Christmas. Hope yours was equally as uh, amazing. Hello, GSA Wolf Coins. Is that Gordon? Is that Gordon? Ducks, of course, says, happy birthday. Happy birthday to who? Whose birthday is it? It's not my birthday. <laughs> uh, Hartford Shear Danny says, hello. Hope you've had a good Christmas. When are you planning on your next Royal Mint trip? Missed 
yourself by two days the last time probably not till march because the next one isn't is going to the, the one that's going live first january will be live uh for three months it looks like so i'll probably give it a bit of time and go go over uh, maybe early to mid-march but i'll let you guys know once i've got some dates locked down on that uh half you down you got the snowman i heard it's a two pound mint your own next month it is yeah the britannia 2020 britannia two pound coin Wadji Carp got a metal detector, a coin album, and a Rubik's Cube. Very nice. Uh, hi, guys. I hope you're all having a fantastic holiday. Yeah, it's back to work next week, isn't it? Until New Year's, obviously. Um, some much Christmas excess. It feels so sluggish. Some much Christmas excess. Definitely. <laughs> Did you overeat as well, Dad? Man, I haven't eaten... And drunk so much in such a short space of time for a long time. What was that? Paul's coin says it's my dad's 70th on the 4th. Wow, well, happy birthday to him. Ninja Zinc's got the Snowman Gruffalo, Wallace and Gromit 50p for Christmas. Wow, lucky you. You've got some awesome stuff. Prismal UK, I'm planning to match Royal Mint Trip. It would be great uh, to say hello to you all. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, March. You're hoping to come down in March as well. Uh, Alan Newton says, hello, Christopher from Kirkcaldy. Kirkcaldy? That's how you say it, right? I, I, that's something I always mispronounce. Uh, good luck for the hunt. Thank you very, very much. Well, we're going to get into it in one minute. Juan Minuta. The Royal Mint have a sale on today. They've got a hair sale on until New Year's Day, don't they? Until the New Year. Uh, Ashley Sparrowhawk got 20 kilograms of worldwide coins. Holy Toledo. Well, good luck hunting through them. That sounds like it'd be great fun. David Smith says, Christopher, can you give a shout out to my partner, Lisa McCoy? She's the one that gets me my coins. Well, hello to you, Lisa McCoy. And thank you for getting David Smith's coins. Very kind of you. Accidentally got a Swedish crown instead of a 10p in a shop. Ah, they, they do get in there, don't they? Dragon Lord Coin Steve Fraser says, hi, Chris. Good luck today. Feeling Olympic vibes today. That would be good. That would be good. Um, fingers crossed. Because what's today? This is going to be the last stream of the 2019, isn't it? Yeah, well, next, next stream, it'll be 2020. Paul Scone says, oh, by the way, Chris, one day, one day I'll surpass you at the world hunt. But you defo beat me on the French coins. <laughs> Definitely. I got, what, seven, my 700th French coin today in the world coin hunt. Pretty bonkers. Did I have a good Christmas? I had an amazing Christmas. Thank you. I hope you did as well. Callum Jameson got a full... A uh, set of bunk A to Z's and a display case. Lovely. Alexandra wants to be a mod. We, well, I think we've got enough mods at the moment, but thank you for offering. Right, six o'clock. Let's get into some coins. Uh, so we'll start with 10 P's. The 10 P's, we're looking for the alphabet 10 P's. So every letter of the alphabet has something quintessentially blurry on it. Let me fix this. I did set this all up. It must have just unset itself. One moment. Uh, da, 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 da. That's better. So we've got B, G, and F, L, M, and I, N, Q, P, R. VTU. That's the 2018s. 2019s. Need a bit more work. We've got E, F, and G. L, K, I, and H. Uh, X and V. It's not doing too badly, to be fair. And I had some pretty good luck. Way. Chucking things around. Pretty good luck over the weekend with my 10 P's, didn't I? I got 10. 10 in one. Ow. Oh, my elbow. That hurt. 10 in one hunt. Unheard of nowadays. Unheard of nowadays. Right, can I move this along a bit a little bit? Cause Adventures wants a shout out. Cause Adventure has a YouTube channel. Awesome. 
Uh, Coins of War UK's missed a few hunts. Have you managed to complete a book yet? Not with the 10 P's. I've never completed a full book of 10 P's from the videos. That would be good though. We're getting close. Tw the 2018 10 P's for the videos. I've got four left to get. I can never remember what letters it is. It is. What letters they are that I'm still missing. Right then. So what's everyone else found this week? Anything good? Hope your coin cover will be there. Huh? huh? I think people are having a conversation amongst themselves. <laughs> I'm rudely butting in on the conversation. Kate Webb wants a shout out. There you go. Mr. Mr. Christopher I collect says hi Christopher. I've come across ten puddle ducks. Very nice. D M D D H F M D wants a shout out. There you go. Be easier to shout your name out if it wasn't such a um random assortment of letters. <laughs> Probably means something to you though. Isabel Owen got a Cinderella and an Aladdin Panto 50p from your bank. Wow, very nice. Should I keep them for now or sell them? It's entirely up to you. Uh, Spongebrat says, hey, do you know the show Gogglebox? If so, I can send you something. Yeah, I watch Gogglebox. I don't watch it every week, but um, if it's on, I like, do tune in, watch it. tune in and watch it. It's good fun. Now, let's see if we can get more uh, more luck than the first bag of 10 peas last, on last week's stream because we found absolutely diddly squat. Not even a territory, not even a um, foreign coin, nothing. Good evening, uh, Jacob Tucson. We've got a lot of people liking Gogglebox in the chat. Who's your, who's your favourite couple? I like Giles and Mary. I think the two of them are hysterical. Smash that like button. Thank you very, very much. Hello, Canadian Ryan. Hope you've had a nice Christmas as well. We'll find K first. It's going to be L. It's always an L. It is L, isn't it? It is always an L. <laughs> uh, Dan Temple said S. Amber Wakeling reckons V. Any of them would be good. The special was awful, not funny at all. The special? The Christmas one, the highlights of the year. Oh, I liked it because I've missed a few shows. Some of them are new to me. Certainly had a great Christmas. Awesome. Uh, how do you get sealed bags? It's just the luck of the draw sometimes. Um, sometimes I get sealed bags. Sometimes I get bagged bags. There's no way I, I influence that at all. I order the coins and then I pick up whatever they got for me. <laughs> it's going to be a T for total coins, says total coins. <laughs> Hello, Charles Jackson. Ian Reagan's doing £500 of 50p coins tomorrow. Wow, good luck. Cross my fingers for you. Hopefully, you get something amazing. 
Sorry for the random name, I just love your videos there, no worries. Surely it means something to you. Coin Cupboard says you're going to be gutted when Bungle finds wrestling and Q from the bags you swapped him. Oh, I know, aren't I just? Well, that was the danger of it, that was the danger of it, but... Um, tomorrow will be the first... So basically, Bungle collects coins and I swapped £500? No, £1,000. Yeah, £1,000. I gave him a thousand pounds of fifty p's, and he gave me a thousand pounds of two pound coins, and I believe the first of the two pounds that he swapped with me is going up tomorrow. So tune in for that. Ducks are cool. Says I've got some old one pound coins. Very nice. Definitely not Scottish Francis, and you'll hear us roaring from the stands of Ibrox Park. Huh? Ah, oh, he's talking about Scottish football. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you, Smeem says, I love your channel. Thank you very much. Anyone collect anything else? That'd be interesting. Does anyone collect anything else other than coins? Let me know. Whoops. Are we doing 50p's? Yep, we'll be doing 50p's. Grossy is in Guernsey at the moment. Ooh. C002 collect stamps. How are you celebrating the new year? I'm not sure yet. I've not got anything laid in stone yet. Maybe a couple of drinks. <laughs> if I've recovered. Military medals and badges. Ooh, awesome. The coin collector collects vinyls. Very cool. Isabella Owen collects gems and fossils. Uh, a tiny collection of cups, says Tony Miller. Gymnastics competition hair scrunchie, says Kate Webb. Wow. Pretty cool. Is that gymnastics competitions that you've been in or that you go to watch? Uh, Lynn Mills collects uh, Zelia pottery. <laughs> I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it, but it sounds lovely. Uh, Communist Cabbage says, Hi Christopher, uh, do you still need any of the old round pounds? It's just the NIFC ones that I don't have now. Uh, oh, and um, the Edinburgh Cities one I don't have. But other than that, I found them all. Master Temple collects fridge magnets. Oh, you and me both. I can't help myself. If I go away, I've got to get a fridge magnet. And the tackier the fridge magnet, the better. Irish Pelican has a Beano book collection and Dandy. Cool. Would you like me to send goggle box magnets and some coins? I'd be happy to. You don't feel obliged to send send me stuff. I'm more than happy receiving just a letter. about a year and you've inspired me so much so thank you that's a very kind thing of you to say lemon chicken noodles collects old 80s television tv 
Or TV shows? TVs? Television sets from the 80s? <laughs> Do you want any annuals and small A5 comics? Oh, to Hydra's Pelican, I'm with you. Fez? Oh, yeah, we've got to wear the Fez. Lucky Fez. But it's not proving too lucky right now, is it? I might get to Kew Gardens on Monday the 6th. Wow. That would be good. I've been on Grocery Challenge yet. I have not yet. Nope. But it might be a video for next week. It all depends. Christopher, do you like 70s music? Yeah. Definitely. I only collect ones I find in boot sales and charity shops. Do you? I collect something I know you would appreciate. Fancy hairpins. Fair enough. <laughs> What's the rarest coin I have? Uh, it's always a tricky one to say because I've got two Kew Gardens, which is the rarest coin in circulation. Um, I've got two of the EU presidencies, which is the larger old 50p, um, and they have a lower mintage than the Kew Gardens. But then I found a 50p a couple of months ago now. Uh, it's a Jersey one that had a mintage of only 10,000, which is an awful lot lower than the Kew Gardens mintage. So it's hard to say. Wearing a fez, he definitely likes seventies music. <laughs> Isn't the silver two p the rarest? Oh, I don't know. There's lo there's a few coins where there's only been one made of it. There's a penny from the nineteen fifties. If coin picks around, I'm sure he will remind me. Fifty six, fifty four. I can't remember. Do I play Fortnite? I've never played Fortnite, no. Do you, did you used to have a queue? I have two queue gardens. What's the oldest thing you have beside coins? Um, I got some really, really old stamps. Whoops. Hello Katie Hall, how are you? I hope you've had a nice Christmas as well. Please stop vaping. Please stop harassing me. <laughs> I can't stop, I'm an addict. That's how addictions work. <laughs> I'm not vaping right now though, am I? So cut it out. All oh, my mods will be coming down on you. <laughs> The oldest coin that I have is a 1708 Queen Anne crown that was sent in by the very kind and lovely WWE Alonado. Can you shout out to Christopher Wheeler, please? He's just started collecting. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Big shout out to Christopher Wheeler. Uh, what is the 50p 2019 England Wales slip catch? Huh? <laughs> the what? Whoops. I guess just wondering if you would like a 2019 Data Q Gardens. I've got the bunk set of it. The 50 is the 50p. I didn't get the silver one though, they sold out way too quick. Uh, Samuel Natraz says, don't worry Chris, I'm addicted to breadsticks. Unbelievable. Whoops.
What's the difference between snowmen and snowwomen? I think I know this one. <laughs> so we'll get a good um, Christmas cracker joke. If you can make a coin, what would it look like? Um, I keep saying that I would love to see a... Um, that's 2015. I would love to see uh, British counties. So every county in Britain issued with a design that means something about that county. So whether it's a landmark from that um, county or something that that county is famous for. And it would take a few years, obviously, to build up a full set and to be released in circulation, much like the US state quarters and parks and reserves. I think that would be an awesome set. Ryan McLeod says, should I show my coins? Uh, sh show them where? Where are you planning to show them? Brat is playing back to Star Wars Battlefront 2 whilst watching. Awesome. I must admit, I was disappointed with Battlefront. I haven't played it in a while, but EA, what are they like? Money grabbers. <laughs> That's my favourite joke. I don't know. But well, the thing with the jokes is that if you keep hearing the same joke over and over again, it becomes less funny. Have you seen the new Star Wars movie yet? I did. I loved it. I've seen it twice now. And I plan to go at least once more. But no spoilers because it's still quite soon after it coming out. But I loved every single moment of it. There's no point where I was sat there going, hmm... Will 2019 queues devalue other queues? Not at all, no. Because it's got a different date on it. The real McCoy, the 2009 one, is still going to be the one everyone really, really wants. Where do I get my coins from? Uh, you don't need to ask your question 20 times in three seconds. Uh, I get them from my bank. I've got business accounts, which make a difference in some places, though. Uh, lots of banks, you'll be limited on your personal account as to how many coins you can take in or out of the... Um, of your bank account per day. Lemon Chicken Noodles has Paddington at the station coins, lovely. Alex Blondin, the old troublemaker, says only two viewings. I get on my level. Been three times, two more viewings plan uh, set for next week. Well, I wish I had more time to go and see it more often. Otherwise, I would. But when it comes on um, Disney Plus, and Disney Plus finally comes to the UK, I can watch it a whole bunch more times. Shy Charlie Ace says, I went to the doctor. I asked him if he could give me something for wind. He gave me a kite. Very good. Uh, hi Christopher, are the 2018 alphabet tempies rarer than 2019 ones? We don't know yet, because um, vintage figures haven't come out for the 2019 ones. Um, I'm unsure. I have a feeling the 2019s will be lower minted though, is my gut instinct. Hello Chucky Garden, thank you for tuning in. Is the 2008 Frisia's Flower Guernsey coin rare? I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Have, head on over to Change Checker. They have scarcity indexes for Guernsey jersey coins. I can never remember what years are rare and which ones are not with the Territories ones. How much is the 2019 Q Guns 50p worth? Uh, I think you can still buy them from Change Checker in the... And the blue cards, can't you? 
the whole set the uh, the whole set of um what are they called what are they called the uh 50 years of 50p was 45 pounds that came in amongst it thank you very very much katie hull katie hull super chatted one pound 99 over on um youtube it's very very kind of you thank you And the little cool pear emoji. <laughs> Minch is 350,000. That's not bad, is it? That's quite nice. Oh, goes off to the Isle of Man over Easter. Hope to get some nice coins. Wow, I'm very jealous of that. I must admit. Chris Alert, I found a Q Gardens, yay. Wow, very nice. Oh, Laughter joined. Good evening, Laughter. Oh, Lee Toledo. Hayes Skills has super chatted £4.99. Thank you very, very much. It says, uh, what book do you use for collecting 50Ps? As I've just started myself, I need a book for them. Uh, so I use, they are, uh, what are they called? Are you on my Discord server, Hayes Skills? If you are, there is a link in the Frequently Asked Questions section, the FAQs. Um, if you go onto eBay and just type in coin album, uh, I, I, I buy the collector's albums. They appear as one of the top uh, results on YouTube, on YouTube, on eBay. But yeah, you can get them from, um, what's it called? Amazon as well. Other online retailers are available. So, Chris, I am 10. I think you're the coolest super dude in the world. Love from Canada. Thank you very much. That's very, very kind of you. The coolest super dude in the world. You hear that, Alex? Whoops. What happened there? I pressed a button, now I can't see anything. Oh, there we go, we're back again. Hello Duvetto, thank you for tuning in. Hope you've had a lovely Christmas as well. Oops. Presuming those are the change checker blue card. Oh, again, people talking amongst themselves, not to me. <laughs> I think he will show them on YouTube. What? Who's going to show what on YouTube? Is the 2019 50p slip catch rare and how rare? I have no idea what you're talking about, I'm afraid. Not a Scooby-Doo. Oh. Did you miss anything? We haven't found anything yet. We are having the curse of the first bag right now. The sum total of diddly squats. Ooh, they've heard that fireworks outside. Ah, oh, great. Our post office is good for getting change. My post office isn't, but yours might be. And you can get change cards at post offices. I don't have one there. Ah, oh, the joys of fireworks. The joys of fireworks. Oops, at the dog, there's someone, some fireworks going off outside. I don't know if you can hear the fireworks. The dog is not happy. What type of dog is it? It's a Jack Russell. By the way, great channel videos. Thank you very much, Adam Baker. Dog's ears must be feeling rough. Very, very good, Alex. 
by circus so I have to leave oh well thank you for tuning in have you managed to find any more Peter Pan 50p's not yet that would be amazing though wouldn't it just the one for now my favourite territory uh, Isle of Man 100% Hello, Kurt. Thank you for tuning in. He sat on sandpaper. What? What? <laughs> is that the uh, is that the punchline of a joke? <laughs> Who sat on sandpaper? I recently got inspired to start collecting coins, so now me and my nan collect coins together, and I would want to say thank you because it's a really nice way of us to bond. Ah, oh, well, thank you very much, it's Lulu. That's very kind of you to say. What's the best What's the best coin that you two have found then? Whoops. Uh, have you been to the Iron Man? No, I haven't. But that would be a cool trip next year, wouldn't it? This is the last bag as well, so we better find about um, approximately that many alphabet 10 Ps. Otherwise, that has been a bit of a bust. Oops. Unbelievable. Not a single find. Can you believe it? Outrageous. What a waste of time. <laughs> but if you don't hunt for them, you won't find them. That's it. That's got to be the case, right? Got them all in the last 10p bag. I wish. I wish. Arcade's a good place to get changed. Very true. Very true. But I'm going to go wash my hands because look at the state of them. Isn't that disgusting? So I should be back in a moment. And we're back, hopefully, with a bit more luck. Hopefully a little bit more luck. Because that those 10 Ps were pretty pathetic, weren't they? Uh, anyone want to trade coins on here? Well, you probably shouldn't do. <laughs> I wouldn't advise uh, trading coins in Twitch chat. There are plenty of Facebook groups, uh, my Discord server, that you can go to and arrange your trades. But I wouldn't. Do that over on Twitch. Please don't be giving out your address in Twitch chat. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Cornish Strips hosting the uh, stream over on Twitch with the viewer. Thank you very, very much. Hello, Caledonian Coins. Thank you for tuning in. Are you on your lunch break or your break again? 
Or are you you got the day off? Please stop spamming. Yes. What's going on? Hello, Ellis Coin. Uh, Ellis collects coins. What flavor vape we got? Uh, black mango chiller. Are there any rare key dates for ten pences? There are, uh, but I searched for them for a year, didn't find any, and gave up. I think it's like ninety three. Uh, 93, 94, 96, 98, and there's a mule year as well. Hello, Tamara Post, uh, Tamara Postma. Thanks for tuning in. We've got 50 P's next, though. So, what are we looking for in the 50 P's? Let me show you. We are missing Q Gardens. We are missing Olympic athletics, Olympic football, Olympic shooting. We've got the others. Olympic triathlon. We've got all the other ones up to and including Paddington at St. Paul's, which I think is going to be the most common of the Paddington Bears. I was right with the uh, 2018 Beatrix Potter, so there we go. <laughs> oh, we think we're going to get some Olympics, that'd be good, wouldn't it? As long as we don't get it. Hundreds and hundreds of pounds of dirty coins. <laughs> I will be quite happy. Because we've had a few videos now where we have got some really, really gross coins. So with the shields, we look for the year 2009, 10, 11, 16 and 18, but also 2017, which is a low minted year. Um, I'll be over on my Discord server. That was our first find. Uh, to, uh, the People Act. That's a very common one. I'll be over on my Discord server after the... What am I doing? After the live stream, hunting through them to see what key dates we've got. Uh, so if you're already on Discord, head on over to the uh, voice chat channel. Uh, if not, there's a link down in the description, I believe. You can click to come and join Discord. You do have to be over the age of 13, though, in order to be on Discord. That's their rules, not my rules. Uh, best guess how many 2019 Qs will be minted. Uh, I'm not sure. Holy Toledo. I'm not sure. Uptown Petrick. He's posted the stream of the view. Thank you very much. No mucky coins, exactly. If you do get dirty coins, you could really call it a skunk bag. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. I thought it was, oh, it is something. Paddington at the Cathedral. Go on then, let me know. Are you um, Team Cathedral or, like me, are you Team Tower? Have we had any defectors since last week, uh, last uh, live stream? Uh, we've got the Victoria Cross the Medals. Total Coins is Team Tower. Well done, Total Coins. Total Coins wants to be on the winning team. Unlike... Um, you were Team Peter Rabbit, weren't you? Which is a shame. <laughs> Can't go two for two, can you? Will Patrick ever do a stream? Do you know? I don't know. He's out at the moment. We have got... Uh, tower, 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 Cathedral, Tower, Cathedral, Tower, Cathedral, Cathedral. Well, I'm starting to think that Team Tower are in the, in the lead a little bit now. We've got Benjamin Bunny there. Benjamin Binny. A bunny of the Benjamin variety. The most common commemorative 50p that we find. Oh, Rodney Bunny as well. I can't forget that. Rodney Bunny. There's a Paddington at the Tower. It's going to be the rare one. It's going to be the rare one. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> we 
There we go, see? Uh, Paddington St. Paul's. There's two of them. One tower. Two of them. One tower. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Ellis Pask is hosting this stream over on Twitch with you. Thank you. Uh, do you know the theory of the Paddington 50Ps? The theory? Holy Toledo. Pat Cast is hosting the stream as well. Thank you. Victoria Cross, the heroic acts there. That's a common one. Oh, and a massive congratulations for Caledonian Coins. I reckon you're the first coin cheaper to find a Kew Gardens on a live stream. There we go. Paddington the Cathedral. And our first Sherlock Holmes for today. Very cool design. But no, if you haven't head if you haven't headed over and seen uh, Caledonian Coins live stream where he found the Kew Gardens, you have to go over and see that. <laughs> You should probably get some vaccinations after the last few 50p hunts. Exactly. It's been gross, hasn't it? It's been gross. And I know Laughter as well. Over on his channel has found some pretty gross, pretty gross coins as well. So whatever's going on, hopefully it doesn't have a, we don't have a repeat of that. Because that's pretty grim. Although we did find a fair few Olympics though, so it's not all moaning and groaning. There's four or five Olympics on one of the videos at least, wasn't it? Anyone, uh, everyone head over to Total Coins YouTube channel. Show him some love, definitely. Those two pound coins I had, Faye Mary Hill, were a bit bogging too. <laughs> Amazing. That must have been nice to find a Q Guns on the live stream. That must have been awesome. Because other than Caledonian, who was the who who else has found the Q Guns recently, or more recently, or uh, before that? I can't think. It's been a while since someone found a Q, wasn't it? Drinking Pepsi Max and watching Christopher. What a normal Sunday night! Amazing. Keen Reagan says, will I ever find a queue? Well, only if you keep hunting. The UK coin hunt before that. Wow, that was ages ago, wasn't it? We've got public libraries there. Very, very common. And then we have dictionaries. Very, 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 very common. The other was five months ago. Wow, we. Well, I haven't found a Kew Gardens in the whole of 2019, unfortunately. Let's hope the 2020 is my Kew Gardens year. Because I found two in 2018. None in 2019. I'm going to cross my fingers. How many bags left? Absolutely tons. We've, we've only gone through four or five bags. I once found two Qs, but my mum spent them. Uh-oh. Whoopsie. Oh, we've got a chance at something. We've got a chance at something there. What do we think it's going to be? What do we think it's going to be? Uh, me and my wife picked up a bag for him. He was over the moon. Who was that for? Coin cover thinks table tennis. Wrestling says Alex Blondon. You troublemaker, you. Uh, triathlon, triathlon, table tennis, badminton, judo, shield. Shooting, wrestling, hockey, wrestling, shooting, archery, boccia, swimming, table tennis, aquatics, football, shield, wrestling, archery, shooting, archery, wrestling or giggles, <laughs> sailing, wrestling, basketball, wrestling, aquatics, archery, res wheelchair, res wheelchair wrestling, <laughs> archery, uh, basketball, equestrian, archery, football. Oh my God, they're all flying in too quick. Let's have a look, see what it is. It is shooting. Wow. We had a whole bunch of people say shooting, didn't we? Well, well done to you all. Guessing it right. 
Anyone on Twitch get it right? Nope. Who got it right then? Let's have a look. Mr. Christopher I Collect got it right. Uh, Some people are so dumb. <laughs> got it right. Victoria Teasdale. Uh, I think that was everyone. There we go. What a stunner. Quite early on as well. Just have to find that. If you any hunt you find an Olympic is a success. Another Benjamin Bonnie. When is the next giveaway? Uh, I'm not quite sure when I'm going to upload it. I have got the prizes already. I just haven't decided when I'm going to put it up. I think what I'd like to do is get some of these for the previous prizes sent out. Ooh, there we go. Tw the Alphabetically, the rarest 2018 Beatrix Potter, Flopsy Bunny. Same mintage as the Peter Rabbit, but alphabetically, what comes first? Flopsy Bunny does. There we go. What a stunner. And uh, before the chat explodes, we're moving on. We've got Jeremy Fisher from 2017. That's a much more common one to find. <laughs> uh, too late, Alex. We've moved on. We're already hunting through the rest of the next of the coins. Team Flopsy, exactly, Amber. Team Flopsy. Absolute coins. Hello. Hello and goodbye. <laughs> oh, we got a Tom Kids in there. Lovely stuff. One more to go. Dare I ask how the football was, Absolute Coins? Would you play Wolves? I don't know, I talked to my dad about football yesterday. And some of it sunk in. My brother says, you look silly in that hat. Oh well. <laughs> I think your brother looks silly without the hat. <laughs> Liverpool one. Wow. Good going. What hat am I wearing? It's uh, Fez. So I bought it whilst I was in holiday in Tunisia last year. No, this year. Not last year yet. Peter Rabbit. That makes up our 2017 set. Wasn't a great game. Watching the City game now. Fair enough. That puts you about 13 points clear, wasn't it? If I was reading correctly. Unbelievable. That's cute, loving the pin. There we go. See, the pin is from Total Coins. A little Mickey Mouse Luke Skywalker. Are there any Kew Gardens out there still? Definitely. Well, Caledonian Coins found one a, few, uh, what, was it a week ago? Last week? You never know. You never know. We've got another public libraries there. Norwich was robbed by VAR. Really? My friend at school had an Olympic fencing. He said he would give it to me, but he had to get his lunch with it. Oh dear. For Christmas, I got a silver proof 50p Paddington at the cathedral from the Royal Mint. It's stunning. Wow, very nice. But our media says, what have you missed? Uh, Olympic shooting and a flopsy bunny. Which is well combined. We've not had much luck since, though. Uh, 
There's a dictionary. Oh, what am I doing? It was Christmas Eve. Wow, that's amazing. What a Christmas present. What a Christmas present. No, no, let's all be respectful for each other. All right. Should I talk about football? What's wrong with people talking about football? If you don't want to look at the football, if you don't want to talk about the football stuff, then just ignore it. Talk about something else. Plenty of people here to, to talk about. Binder Bubby has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very much. Leah King says, I had six Q guns in 2009 when they were first released. I had them in a pot with some other coins and my husband raided it to get a coffee and spent them. Oh, gutted. He will forever remain in my bad books. Unbelievable. Spent six of them. Wow. Wow, we. Thanks very much, Jacob Rule. Uh, have you got Q guns? I've managed to find two. Not in, none this year, but in 2018, I found two. Peter Aaron from 2017, very, very common. Can we stop repeating the same messages? <laughs> <laughs> have you got patterns of the full coin set yes yes i have and for anyone that doesn't like Holy football please in. send the offside 50p coin to absolute coins po box thank you <laughs> uh atomic eyed uh 84 has joined the hunt over on twitch We've got ourselves a Commonwealth Games there. That's a really common one to find. There we go. Paddington at the Cathedral. That's what? Four cathedrals, one tower. I'm only saying. Only saying. Have we had a live streamer tower? Can we find more towers than cathedrals? I don't think so. I don't think so. Have you ever watched American football? Uh, I watched uh, the Super Bowl last year, was it? It's quite entertaining, I didn't mind it. It might have been the year before, actually, I can't remember. It was a lot easier to grasp than other sports. There we go, 2016's Squirrel Nutkin. Slightly more than face value. Very, very nice. But no, generally with sports, my approach is that I'll drop in and out of sports, but I can't watch every game of a team every week. They don't have that kind of um, desire. Another Paddington at the Palace. At the Palace. At the Cathedral. Team Tower forever, definitely. We're going to win. We're going to win. Back to back wins. Team Flops in Team Tower. What's my favourite coin set? It must, it's got to be the Olympics, hasn't it? They're really cool designs and they're also quite uncommon as well. So they are really nice to find. Did you hear that Roger Taylor's getting an OBE? I did. Very awesome. Much deserved. There's absolute coins, Team Cathedral. <laughs> Must be a regional thing with the Paddingtons. Mm, maybe, maybe. Victoria crushed the medals there. 
I'll tell you what else is regional at the moment. It's those uh, Shakespeare comedies. Holy Toledo, you guys up north are funding tons of them. Getting them by the bucket load. <laughs> Another dic dictionary there. Ooh. Ooh. Who saw that? Who saw that? I'm going to have some coffee whilst I look to see if anyone spotted that. My daughter's just started to collect a 50 piece. Any advice? Um, yeah, tell everyone. The more people you tell, the more people you've got looking out for it. Ah, Liz, you saw it. Olympic badminton. Holy Toledo. Second Olympic. Woohoo! Very, very nice. The thing is, I can't remember which Olympics we need and which Olympics we don't need for the book. Because my memory is really, really bad. Oh, there we go. Olympic number three. Is your real name Chris or is it a stage name? Ah, well. Christopher. <laughs> it's not going to be wrestling. It's not going to be wrestling. I don't know what you're all talking about. <laughs> Why is everyone saying wrestling all of a sudden? Table tennis, thank you, Duveto. Handball says Chucky Garden. Aquatics, wrestling, wrestling, Team GB, Team GB, Butcher, wrestling, it's not going to be wrestling, rowing, wrestling, wrestling, tennis, judo, archery, sailing, um, wrestling, wrestling, Q Gardens, wrestling, football, soccer, uh, rowing. I must admit, I'm just glad it's not wrestling. <laughs> just glad it wasn't wrestling. Because that would be upsetting. We've got the People Act there. Uh, people Act. Where do you get your coin tower from? Um, uh, Matalan, I think it was. It does need moving around because this area is getting a bit gross. But you spin it around, upside down, spin it around. It's got at least three more uses out of it. <laughs> We've got dictionary there. Let's say add that onto the counter. I can't see a dictionary coming without thinking add that to the counter. We've got scouts. Very, very nice. But a common one. What's the best thing we found today? Uh, Olympic shooting, probably. I would hazard a guess. I think that's the rarest of the three Olympics we've got. Babington shooting, rowing. But I could be wrong. It's been known to happen before. Least favourite coin set? Uh, probably the 2017 Beatrix Potters, just because they're so common. We see so many of them. The designs are cool, but like I said... The mintages are a bit too high in my books. If you've got a question, post it. I will try to answer it, but don't just post it 10 times. Domus Maximum is basically Chris, but cooler. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. How many of you have heard of Domus Maximus? Let me know in chat. Evening all, Alana. It's Alana. I've just tuned in. Oh, thank you for tuning in, Alana. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. Get anything nice? Oh, thanks for saying my name. 
No worries. Your hands are filthy. I know, coins are disgusting, aren't they? Those of you that worked in customer service or on tills will know how gross coins are. We've got Sherlock Holmes there. It's only our second Sherlock Holmes. Oh, imagine if Paddington at the Cathedral ends up with a higher mintage than Sherlock Holmes. Those of you that are Team Cathedral. That would be funny. That would be a turnout, wouldn't it? <laughs> Last bag of 50 peas. Are we going to show us all the things uh, that have been sent to the PO box? Uh, well, you see all the things that get sent to the PO box in the PO box videos. And there may be a PO box video this Thursday. So stay tuned for that. It all depends if I get the time to do all the recording, which I should do actually. Wowee, well, we've got one more chance at finding another awesome Olympic. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? What car do I have? Uh, I had to buy a new car. I've got a BMW Z4 now because my poor little car got written off and is driving the motorways in the skies now. We are getting some guesses. Wrestling, football, archery, archery, equestrian, goalball, badminton, tennis, archery, basketball, wheelchair, swimming, WWF, wrestling, two men in a boat, athletics, shooting, underwater chess, fencing, canoeing, wrestling, wrestling, tennis, wrestling, swimming. Rest oh, look at the comparison over on Twitch. Uh, oh, no, we've got a few others. Table tennis, sailing, taekwondo, football, table tennis, wrestling, wrestling, football, tiddlywinks, tiddly uh, gymnastics. Uh, equestrian, tubulix, fighting with swords, archery, badminton, basketball, basketball, f football or shooting, another shooting, football, tennis, football, hockey, judo, tennis, equestrian, handball, equestrian, shooting, wheelchair, rugby. It is, ooh, aquatics. Very, very nice. Has anyone on Twitch been right so far? <laughs> That's all right. That's a lovely one. The aquatics. Chuffed with that. Four Olympics, holy Toledo, what is going on? Uh, Victoria Cross, heroic acts. And that's it. Well, four Olympics, I am not going to complain of that. Not a chance. Um, are any of those new ones though? I can't recall. Uh, I don't think so. Oh no, shooting is, woohoo. New one for the book. Ding, 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 winner, winner. There aren't that many Olympics we've still got. Triathlon, athletics, and football. Three Olympics to go. And the Kew Gardens. Wow, that's getting very close to being finished now, isn't it? There we go. That finishes that page. Lovely stuff. Are we on a time loop? Um, what do you mean? How do you find some in shops at register when you pay? You can ask for different coins to change. Craig, uh, Craig Burton to Alana says, I finally got the Holy Toledo token. I heard you knew about the secret. Thanks for keeping it a surprise. I was in on that. Yes, and I almost, I almost spilled the beans. The Holy Toledo token, for those that are interested, is just this. Uh, Holy Toledo token. A thousand of them were made. This one's Duvetos, which still hasn't been sent out, which will be sent out very, very soon. But there we go. Available at www.christophercollects.co.uk along with those old £1 notes that I got an absolute ton of. Because people were harassing me, asking me what I was going to do with them. I kept the ones that I want and the rest are up on my website. Craig, I want to touch hers immediately. <laughs> you, went to this, you went to Bungle School of... Um, Coin collecting then. <laughs> I was lagging at first refresh, but caught up after second refresh. Ah. 
how do I get a list of 50p's to order my book? I would go on to Change Checker. They've got all the 50p's and the two pounds, and they will put it in order. Uh, Duvetto does is patient. To be fair, I did actually send one to Duvetto, um, but it got pulled out of the post. Ended up with an empty envelope, unfortunately. Do you still collect stamps? I do. Get a job in a shop. That's not a bad idea. What's been happening? We found four Olympics. We found Olympic badminton, rowing, shooting, and aquatics. Should we move on to the two pound coins then? We have bag bags today. So who knows what kind of luck that will bring. What are we missing? We're missing Scotland Commonwealth Games. We've got full page there. We're missing the way. World War One Navy Centenary with the Flag Era and Shakespeare Comedies. And we've got all the other ones. So down to three to go with this book. Let's get into it. How do I get a list of 50 pieces to order my book? Go on to Change Checker. And the Change Checker app was what I would recommend. Comedies this time. I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about that. Master Temple's got a token. It's brilliant. Thank you very much. So that is technologies. We don't want technologies, but anything else commemorative would be nice. Especially that Commonwealth Games Scotland. Wouldn't that be good? We've got Brunel's arches there. The achievements at Paddington Station are very common ones to find. When you get to the Royal Mint, probably March. Probably March. Second coin looked fake, did it? Oops. <laughs> oh, flown, flown past it. Oh, Bruno's achievements again. Why did you upload the video today and the stream? I do that every Sunday. Did you pass the test when you bought your car? Uh, what test? What test? <laughs> what test did I have to pass? We've got another Brunel's achievements. This is getting a little bit odd. Do you think there'll be any 2028 20 Z10Ps? I think so. I definitely think so. Gary Jones got the whole set of 2019 10p alphabet set for Christmas. Very nice. Oh, there we go. We've got some variety now. We've got Guy Fawkes there. Another very common one. And my favourite circulating £2 coin design, Florence Nightingale. It's a very pretty design. Do you like the polymer banknotes? Yeah, they're pretty cool. More durable. I don't collect. I don't really collect banknotes though. We've got the abolition of the slave trade there. You can see this one's got a texture finish on the inner part. Uh, you can. There's a chance you can find one with a smooth texture, uh, which is put into the collector set. So if someone's busted out of their set, spent it, paid it into the bank. There's a chance you can find it in your change or in one of your hunts. I've never found one, but you never know. We've got another Brunel achievements. That's what number four. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
Thank you very much for tuning in, uh, Fabian. And thank you for your wishes of good luck. Should we see if we can find any from the from the edge inscriptions? Um, where's the giants, 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 giants? Is that going to be something? There we go. Wireless transmissions. God, someone got hungry. Chewed that one up a bit. I think the rest are all just technologies, though. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> can you go to any bank to get change? Uh, you can try. Not every bank will allow you to take out lots of change, especially from personal accounts. Most banks will have a limit on how much you can and can't take in and out. Um, the active union there. Another common one. But no, so I've got business accounts which I use. So because I pay a fee for the business accounts, they 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 allow me to take more than from a personal account. Another guy forks there. I thought the other guy forks we've got. Uh, Marconi cheese, <laughs> definitely. Bank of England will be twentieth of Feb, Friday twenty seventh. No word on Bank of Scotland RBS date yet. Is that for the, is that the polymer twenty pound note you're talking about? It's a cool colour, isn't it? Jane Austen as well. Which is really nice. Hello, uh, or Gorton collects. O R Gorton, you will get prom uh, comedies. I promise. <laughs> Who knows? Oh dear, this could be it. Actually, oh dear, this could be it. What do we think? What do we think? This could be it. Oh. Sigh of relief. It is the soldier to soldier um, World War One centenary, the army. A common design to find. Not comedies, which I desperately want to get on the videos before I get it in the live streams. Last stream 2019, exactly, exactly. Can you believe it? Tron helmet, definitely. They're all up north. I know, exactly. Unbelievable. Total coins. How's your luck with the um, comedies been? We've got uh, Florence Nightingale again. Uh, the Old Man and the Animal. <laughs> Which you'll only get if you go over and watch Numismatically Challenged over on Absolute Coins' channel. It was an awesome, fun quiz that he hosted. Uh, when we were all down at the Royal Mint previously. Hello, William Gardner. Have you missed anything? Uh, we found four Olympics in the t in the 50Ps. We found nothing in the 10Ps. Um, uh, who is Brunel and what are his achievements? He's a British engineer. Um, the arches at Paddington Station are one of his achievements. We've got um, Florence Nightingale again there. That was pretty gross. I don't know what that is, but it's sticky. Are you planning a Royal Mint trip for April? Nope, March probably. Probably March. Another Brunel's achievements. Something odd going on with them. Something odd going on with them. We've got a 2016. Now oh, it's going to be Britannia. There we go, Britannia. Very nice. It's more like it. Obviously, 2015 is the lowest minted year for circulating. 117 and 18 were not intended for circulation. But 2020 should be minted for circulation. According to a Royal Mint tour guide that I went on earlier this year. Your stream locked up and you've been stuck on 50p's. Oh, no. Oh, we've got the VE Day Anniversary. St Paul's and we have the VE anniversary, Day Anniversary St Paul's I think there's something on my shoulder don't think so
Deepak Rami have offered me multiple comedies to pounds recently. Not sure why the sudden rush of them here in Scotland. I'm not sure either. I reckon there must have been a stash of them at the Royal Mint or at the Cash Centre or whatever, where they haven't been massively in, massively in demand. And now they are um, all coming out into circulation, possibly. Ooh, that's a nice one. Robert Burns. Time Machine gave me all five Ps once. 75 P and 5 Ps. Oh dear. That's no good. I've had 11 comedies in Edinburgh. Wow, we. Have you got the Wallace and Grant 50 from the Royal Mint? Yes. I've got the Bunk, the Silver, and the Strike Your Own. That was the last Strike Your Own I went No, it wasn't the last Strike Your Own I went to get with the, the Snowman, wasn't it? Alex is back. Did you miss anything good? We found four Olympics. We found a Britannia and Robert Burns. Holy Toledo! Thomas Maximus has joined the hunt. Thank you very much. Hmm. That looks odd. That looks like a fake to me. Would you agree? Fake, fake, fake coins. Unbelievable. Battery dying will be short. Back shortly on laptop. See you in a moment after. Ooh, there we Holy go. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Unicorn Queen is back. Has joined the hunt. Thank you very much. Great Fire of London, that's a lovely design. We've got Charles Darwin again. Shocking fake. <laughs> when can we see your collection? Well, uh, I did a whole collection video back in last February. I plan to do one soon. But it's just given the time to do it. It's virtually impossible at the moment. Abolition of the slave trade there. Lord Kitchener there. Another common one. Holy Toledo. Good variety, aren't we? Uh, Hebe Matty has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very much. Send the fakes here, Chris, and I'll test its authenticity on two sausage rolls from Greg's. Amazing. Abolition of the slave trade again. To fear the fakes I keep anyway. I've got my little fakes and oddities box that I keep them all in. How am I doing with my pennies? I'm a little bit behind on recording those videos. So I've got a bit of work to do. To catch up. Ready for. It'll be not this Tuesday, next Tuesday will be that video. Uh, Charles Dickens there. Holy Toledo! Very common one. Big Daddy Smithy has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Amazing. Is there a queen coin coming out next year? There is a five pound coin, which might start me buying the five pound coins. Louis says, I've had an awful day. Had to send my dad off to hospital five o'clock this morning and I'm mentally exhausted. Got this live video playing to keep me company tonight. Ah, well, I hope everything improves for him. He's in the best place if he's not very well. But if I can be some form of a distraction. That's cool. The last bag of two pound coins. Not as much luck was with the um, 50 piece, but we found some nice ones already. 
There we go. So, star pulls. We're going to take Robert Burns out. It's those two, definite. It's always nice finding a great fire alarm. It's such a cool design. There we go. Only a flyby, but hi, says King Oreos. Okay. And obviously that fake. Holy Toledo. Oh, it's not even... <laughs> Unbelievable. What are the initials on it? Red is IRB. Unbelievable. We got loads of Brunel's uh, Brunel's achievements today, didn't we? That was bizarre. Look at them all. No hologram equals fake, exactly. Sneezing Lemon says I went to the post office today and bought two bags of fifty peas and found Kew Gardens. Wowee! Amazing. I'm Dutch, I found a pound in my chains. It looks like a one euro. I like the design of the pound uh, better. Greetings from the Netherlands. Awesome. Right, well, I'm going to go wash my hands because, again, they've got pretty disgusting. So I should be back in a moment. And we're back. What have I missed? I need a queue, and it's so annoying. I have everything but queue. Holy Toledo! Wow. It's a very uncommon coin to find. That's what I think of Christopher's hands. Hey. Oh. <laughs> they are pretty gross. Coins are very, very, very dirty. Hello coins to collect. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you had a nice weekend. What year was that fake? What year was it? 2011, yeah. 2011. Do you know what a lefty one pound coin is? Yep. Yeah. It's all about the little um, grab. It's all about where the doodah is in relation to this thing here. Very technical terms, obviously. So you can't tell because I can't get the right focus on this, but that is the grooves here. And so that's to the right of this little pointy bit. If the grooves were there, it'd be a lefty, I reckon. I don't look for them because they're very, very common. At least that's what my impression, my um, impression. Goes in your left hand. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right then. Back to 10 peas. We've got one bag of 10 peas and then we've got a bag of 50 peas to round it all off with. Let's see if we can get any more luck. Boy, if we can get more luck than um, the first bag we did, because we found diddly squat.
can't believe me, a fellow coiner was targeted by mods in the chat. Let's collect coins together. Well, there must have been a reason. The mods don't time people out for no reason. But in England do I live? I live in Hampshire. Where's everyone else watching from? Mrs. Cupboard asks, what are you drinking? It is root beer. I got it for Christmas. Genuine A&W root beer. It's lovely. My brother normally gets me a crate of it for Christmas. Because you can't, you can't get the proper decent stuff over in the UK. As they used to sell a variety of root beer, but it was grim. It was not real root beer. Does it feel special to be a chat moderator? Uh, I don't know. I think they have to keep, they have to keep an eye out for people messing around. Well, not messing around, but people misbehaving, being troublemakers. Do you feel they're a lot quicker in it than I am? <laughs> So there's, lo there's lots of 2016s there, weren't there? There are some ones that aren't 2016s. Hello, Sam Durant. The Sneezing Lemons from Manchester. Millie Bailey's from Sheffield. People's Republic of Brighton, says Geff the Talking Mongoose. Liverpool says Shui08. Hello, Shui08. Hello, DYLX1. I prefer Coiner. Can we change it? What, from Cointuber? No way, Jose. Cointuber is my word. <laughs> At least I think it was my word. I'm pretty sure that was something I came up with. And then it seems, it seems to be pick, picked up by people. Birmingham, Sunderland, DCC Games from Basingstoke. No way, I'm from I'm in Basingstoke. Kim Simmons from Oxford, Denbyshire. Says Bryn Pollard, Burton. Do you have any special two pence coins? I don't really hunt through two pound coins. Can you phone me in a bit? No, <laughs> no, I'm busy. Busy, busy, busy. You can come over on, if you're over 13, come over onto Discord, onto the voice chat. I'll be there after the live stream. I do recall you saying coin tuber long before anyone else, says Master Temple. There we go. That's one word for basing steak. A A A A A. There you be mean about amazing steak. My hometown. Be Matty. I've got another word for you, and that word is banned. <laughs> you said you don't hunt two pound coins. I do. Two pence coins I don't hunt through. Two pence coins I don't. Lots of 2016s in these bags. I'm just noticing. How weird. Is there ever going to be another world coin hunt? Yeah, one well, went up today, five o'clock. Where do I get the money from? I get them from my banks. What's the name of the two pound coin with cars? Uh, or the Isle of Man rally ones. I can't think of any UK ones that have got cars on them. Can
Can you message me afterwards? You can message me, but after live streams, I'm generally quite busy, so it'll be the usual turnaround for responses. Uh, the Hong Kong and Singapore, Singapore coins are nice. Definitely. Definitely. It's so strange getting this many 2016s, just having the odd smattering. Look like, there we go, see there's a lion. 2011. Lion. Getting loads of 2016s though. They're not quite sealed bags. Bizarre, right? Pre-decimal channel island coins are pretty swish. I imagine they would be. Macro fishing. What? <laughs> I did actually get macro fishing once as a kid. We were on holiday in Tenby. We were macro fishing. They're actually really nice. I'm not a massive fan of... Uh, fish, but uh, they were very sweet, very sweet, oily fish. So I quite liked, quite enjoyed that. Ask James May for his rally to pad. Exactly. I don't know if any of you saw. Coin cupboard wrote into James May. Is it Drive Tribe? Sort of a PO box or messaging thing. You can write into them. Uh, he mentioned my channel as well, which is very, very kind of you. Although. By the look on his face, I'm not quite sure he understood <laughs> that I was trying to get all the pennies from the year 2000 for a world record. But thank you very, very much for mentioning me. When you, when you messaged me to say you'd written James May, I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, Tia, what's want to shout out? There you go. Speaking of Hong Kong, will the 50p be worth more after Brexit? Who knows? Do you have any pets? I've got a cat. What football team do I support? I don't really support a football team. The closest I get sorting a football team, I guess, is Liverpool. Because my dad supports Liverpool, so I used to watch the odd games with him. But I don't watch this. I don't watch uh, any particular team week in, week out. National games I will sometimes watch. Sometimes watch. Sam Durant has got a dog, a cat, and a hamster, and some fish. Wow, we. Sam's got his own little zoo. Oh, these 10 P's are proving to be pretty pointless, aren't they? After all that luck we had on Saturday's 10 P hunt, why did the vegan cross the road to tell everybody they are vegan? <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, Frank. Frankie's, Frankie's going to sort out the people over on Twitch. <laughs> You're more energetic last stream, Chris. What's bothering you? Nothing's bothering me. Nothing at all. Twenty sixteen Central. Yeah, it's a bit odd, isn't it? Coins to collect wants to know is anyone from Gibraltar in the chat? I don't know. Surely there must be someone. Surely there must be someone. Mystery Garden says, I can't hear you. 
have you turned your name up? Uh, your name up. Have you turned your volume up? Because you're the first person to complain to to mention about the volume. God, these tempies are rubbish. My dogs are called Flash, Freddy, Taylor, Mickey, and Eddie. Very cool. Uh, niche has, has been to Gibraltar. <laughs> Does that count as living in Gibraltar? <laughs> Um, I'm going to hazard a guess at no. Millie Bailey has a white chihuahua called Peggy. Very cool. Hello, Coin Pig. Thanks for tuning in. No need to apologise. You tuned in just at the wrong time. We're going through the, some of the weirdest bags of 10 P's I've had before. They're like 90% 2016 shields with the odd smattering of lines and non and years that aren't 2016. Lynn says, I have a Tibetan Mastiff called Ozzy. Very cool. I have no beef with beef with vegans anyway. <laughs> oh dear. What's the Discord server name? It's Christopher Collects, I think. I'm fairly confident that's what it is. Whoopsie. Sam Durant got a new bike for Christmas. Lovely. Last Christmas I gave you Q, but the very next day you gave it away. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give away Q Gardens. of chocolate coins this Christmas and cards from the neighbours. Anyone else had any? I had a fair few. <laughs> I think people think ah, chocolate coins, yeah, Christopher really like that. Which obviously I do. <laughs> New Star Wars film is outstanding. I totally agree, Cameron. Totally agree. I loved it. Every last moment of it. No spoilers yet though because it's still too early. I wouldn't want to spoil it for anyone that's still planning to go see it. Although, if you've gone this far without seeing any spoilers, well done you. <laughs> Sandra Ant got a Wallace and Grant 50p. Lovely. When you're a kid with a pile of old huge coins in your pocket, you almost needed a forklift to walk up the road. Fair enough. I only knew what day of the week it was this week by what videos Christopher uploaded. <laughs> Amazing. It's that weird week, isn't it, between Christmas and New Year's where everything's all a bit funny. You can never tell what time the shops are going to be open till. If you could only have one hobby, Star Wars or coin collecting, what would you do? Uh, ooh, um... Star Wars isn't particularly a hobby. I just like watching Star Wars. You're saying my name wrong. Oh, my apologies. My apologies. Sam. I'll just call you Sam for now and how's that? Hmm. 
Are you doing ASMR? Nope. Looking for rare coins. Aren't you bored of coins yet? No way, Jose. Getting a little bit bored of this bag, mind you, because we've not found anything. But the only way you guarantee you won't find something is if you give up looking. And I'm not a quitter. But these 10 Ps are feeling a bit pointless. That you will never find. We found tons before. We found a whole bunch of them. Uh, just not in this bag. <laughs> this bag is a bit pants. Are you having a good Christmas? I had a great Christmas, thank you very much. I hope you did too. Have you booked your next Royal Mint tour? Not yet. I am probably going to go in March. Because the next the, the the one that's changing from the first looks like it's going to be strike your own for three months back to being quarterly so have a little bit of a break no crab <laughs> I did that last time and I got complaints <laughs> <laughs> no crap. <laughs> favorite Star Wars film? Uh, Return of the Jedi, 100%. It's always been my favorite. It would take quite a bit of doing to beat that if you're, asked, if you're asking me as well. How can you tell if they are? So, let me show you. Wait, the 10 Ps. Every letter of the alphabet has something quintessentially British on it. A through Z, issued in 2018 and 2019. So they're quite, it stands out quite a bit if they are one of the rarer ones. There are some ones that have rarer years, but they're so few and far between, I don't even bother looking for them anymore. Because it takes far too long. And I never, I, in a year of hunting through them, I didn't find any. They are a little bit far, few and far between, though. But normally we find one or two in a full bag. Sam wants a shout out. There you go. No, my name is Pip. What's the next strike your own? It's going to be the two, uh, 2020. Britannia two pound, which is pretty cool. Changes on the first. Are you a fan of the prequels for Star Wars? Yeah. You see, I was the sort of the target demographic for the prequels. Excuse me, when the Phantom Menace came out, I was what, seven? And you'd be hard pressed to find a seven year old that didn't like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Plus, when they were released, I would imagine, I think I've seen interviews where he said he wasn't expecting the original fans to come back, that he was going to have to attract a whole new audience. But obviously, that was a bit of a whoopsie. Have I seen The Rise of Skywalker yet? Yes, I have. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. I went to see it the day it came out, not the midnight, midnight launch, but later that day after work. Went with my brothers and then went with my brother and my dad on Boxing Day as well. If you had a glass table, you could just spread out all the coins and look at them all at once. Get under the table to check the other side. 
I guess so. Although I imagine you would end up with knocks and chips and dinks in your glass tabletop there. Holy Toledo, what is going on with this bag? It's been rubbish. Uh, Christopher, what is a strike your own? So, um, I can't believe Yoda is Darth Vader's mum. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, what's a strike your own? So, the Royal Mint, where all the coins that circulate in the UK are made, down in Clantricent in South Wales. Um, you can go down there and do a tour of the factory. Uh, it's about a 45 minute tour with the exceptional tour guides. I cannot sing their praises any more than I do because they were great. Um, and part of that tour, if you pay a little bit extra, you get to one of the striking machines, the machine that makes the coins, and you can do what's called a strike your own, which you can only get by going to the Royal Mint and striking it, uh, or if someone's selling theirs, you can obviously buy that one. Uh, you can do one per day per tour and it changes it used to change once every three months but the last three months of last year it changed every month so last year we had what did the year start off with i think it was 2019 britannia 50p then we had the 2019 britannia two pound coin the sherlock holmes 50p um the 50 years of the 50 50 years of the 50p 50p with the privy bark then it was Wallace and Gromit, then it was the Snowman 50p. And it changes the 1st of January to the uh, Britannia 2022 pound. So we've got three bags left. Katie Jones wants a shout out, there you go. <laughs> I don't think Katie Jones wants a shout out, but. Uh, what are you looking forward to in 2020? Another year, another year of Coin collecting, YouTubing, um, strike your owns, going down to see subscribers, viewers, other fellow coin tubers down at the Royal Mint. But uh, my birthday's next year, I'm looking forward to that as well. Christmas again. There's no new Star Wars film to next year, but we do get the Disney Plus. So that'd be nice to have. Whoops, that wasn't very good. Holy Toledo. Norfolk Coin Hunts Elite says, can we get a shout out please? Of course you can, there you go. Uh, lick Fingers Challenge, no way Jose, you've seen how gross coins are. X Fateless has joined the hunt over on Twitch, thank you very, very much. But good Lord, this bag has been pretty pants. Well, both of them, to be fair. I don't think I've had a bus before where both bags have done nothing. What's your favourite lightsaber fight in the whole saga, including Rebels and Clone Wars? Uh, End of Return of the Jedi in the Emperor's Throne Room. Definitely. I think you better just give everyone a shout out. <laughs> I don't mind if people want to shout out on the on the live streams. More than happy to do that, but if you're if you're asking for the fifth or sixth time, that's when you're sort of starting to test my nerves a bit. Need Patrick back, I know, don't I just? This bag has been pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. What's the name of my hat? Uh, Barry. Hello, Ooh, pop back. How's the hunt going? Oh, hopefully you're good luck. Hopefully you're a good luck charm. Some of the last bag, well, penultimate bag, there's one more bag of 10 P's to go. And as as with the first bag of 10 P's, I have found the sum total of diddly squat. The 50 P's went quite good though. We found four Olympic 50 P's. That was really good. Bazando. <laughs> I like that. Bazando. I have an ice cream 10 P. Wow, very nice. One of my favorites. Are you giving vaping up for New Year's? No way, Jose. I would be a quivering mess. I couldn't live without my vape. 
Not a chance. Best uh, Olympic to find football. Uh, is it for football? Yeah, football's the scarcest Olympic uh, 50p. Although, if you ask me, wrestling. <laughs> I would say wrestling. Fazando collects. <laughs> Don't lick it. Don't worry, I won't be. That's really sharp. How odd. I can feel it scratching my hand. Stupid thing. Well, we're coming to the end of this bag of 10 peas. Hallelujah. What a weird bag. What a weird, weird bag. Uh, I wish I could sneak into your house and put your vape in a bulletproof safe. Man, I would keel over. I would keel over. Coinpig hasn't found a wrestling, but has found four football 50ps in the last three months. Holy Toledo, Coinpig. Um, Fateless is Moroccan and has those, have those hats there a lot. Cool. I was in Tunisia earlier in the year and that's where I bought this one. Ever got injured collecting coins? Um, um, I hurt my legs to be fair because I use a suitcase to, to transport the coins to and from the bank. Uh, the one day I forgot my suit because I had a rucksack, so I was carrying it on my back, and my legs were killing me for about four days. It was unbelievable. I'm doing anything like it. Um, stop drinking vodka. It's root beer. Root beer. Non-alcoholic. It's soda. Don't you worry. Right, let me go wash my hands, and then we'll be... Blah, 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 blah. We will be back to finish off the stream with a bag of 50 peas, and I guarantee you we'll find more in the 50 peas than we did in that 10 peas. So be back in unos momentos. And we're back. Frankie Franks, welcome to the mod team over on Twitch. Have at it. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? 
can see someone heading towards another timeout. Uh, actually, you've just been timed out and you're coming back moaning about moderators. That is not the smartest move. <laughs> What did you miss? Not a lot. I'm not saying your name though, holy Toledo, what a trap that is. <laughs> Ryan McLeod wants a shout out, there you go. Sponge Brat says, I've got your letter finished. Wow, thank you. That's very kind of you. Kaname Kuran says, have you come across any, uh, any of the Isle of Man Fitby Rams? I have in the past, the Locked Lockton Ram. Um, crab, are you spamming? If you're spamming, that's a good way to get yourself a timeout. You wouldn't say you were being rude. Well, that's being so, it's a subjective thing, isn't it? Be mindful that other people might not have the same tolerances as yours. <laughs> well done, Amber. What a name that was. <laughs> Martin Ross says our kids, Nicola and Christopher, both got fit to be coin albums for Christmas. Now we need four cues to complete our sets. Wowee. That would be good, wouldn't it? Imagine how we found four of them. Right. We've got another bag of 50 piece, don't we? Have we? Where have I put it? Oh, it's there. So I've got all those bag bags I'll be re reusing stashed on top of them. So I couldn't see the bag. Momentary panic. But this will be the last full bag of the stream. Let's hope we get some good luck. Laughter has returned. How are we doing? Well, hopefully a lot better. The 10 P's we found, the sum total of diddly squat skin, that's 200 pounds of 10 P's, not even a territory. Unbelievable, right? But we had some really, really good luck with the 50 P's earlier. Let's hope that that luck is repeated. Ugh, that's a bit green. Who knows what that is? Paddington at St. Paul's. Have I mentioned today that I reckon that um, that might be the highest minted of the Paddingtons? We've got the People Act, which is a very nice design, but very, very common. Team Tower, there we go, see? It's not just me, it's not just me. Which one of your Discord servers do I go on to chat with me after stream? There is a little channel called Voice Chat. Um, I think it's called General Chat, not for trading, whatever. I'll be in that. Uh, probably about 20 minutes after the stream, so I'm gonna get a snack, because I didn't have a massive dinner. Uh, what would you do if someone enamels Anonymously sends me a Q guns. I have no idea. I wouldn't. I don't. I, w I don't. I wouldn't want anyone to do that. I hasten to add. If you've got a Q guns, keep it in your collection. I've already got two of them. Uh, I, I'm looking for them to fill the books, but don't don't feel the need to send me anything like that. Not at all. We've got two people acts in a row. Bizarre. If you could pick any 50p to find today that isn't a Q, what would it be? Uh, Olympic football. We've got dictionary there. Very, very common. Did I say Olympic dictionary then? Or did I, did I just say dictionary? <laughs> a little bit of a mental block. I will find a cue. Definitely. Definitely. People act back out in force, aren't they just? Can't go on to Discord because you're only 11. Oh, um, my apologies, but like I said, that's Discord's rules. It's not my rules. Uh, Callum McLeod wants a shout out as well. There you go. Anyone else want a shout out? Your cat, your dog, your nan? <laughs> oh, I saw something there. It's only a public library. There we go. 
Anyone got any pets that want shout outs? I'm do I'm doing pet shout outs right now for you. <laughs> One of my favourite coin, coin stories is Victorian Gothic ones. Have I got any? No, not that I believe so. Not that I believe so. Uh, Chippy Mint says, shout out Kirby. Uh, Werther, Amber's Ginger Cat. <laughs> Master Temple's pet Dominic. May want to shout out. Shout out my pet, the amazing Alice. Very loud. <laughs> oh dear. Who else has got pets? Bella Boo, the cockapoo, could do with a shout out, says Martin Ross. Uh, Laura Stokes' dog is called Lucky. Niche's budgie needs one, please. There you go. Hasib's dog, Bullet. Denise Haynes' dog, Lucy. Sam's dog, Pixie. A shout out for Lisa Dalton's dog, Crystal. Jigglypuff, the goldfish, for Tony Beckett. Shout out for shout out Squirrel Community U. Uh, Monty the Parrot, uh, Sponge Brat's Cats, Boo and Simba. Shout out to Tony UK's Coin Collection, Three Golden Retrievers, Ribbon Lottie and Ava, Peggy the Chihuahua. Uh, go on then, I'll have a shout out as you're offering Paula from Canterbury. Uh, Aqua the Fish, Freddy the Dog, Teddy and Milo the Dogs for Coins to Collect, Olive the Chinchilla. Oh, chinchillas are really cute. I, I, I do think they're awesome. Have I missed anyone? Have I missed anyone? Uh, Master Temple's dog, Ted. Uh, Pikachu fans, piece of wood, Plank. Amber's cat's flow trigger and Pip. Lynn Mills, Ozzy is in the garden, so he won't hear me. <laughs> Shout out to Chingity Ching, Hee Haw, Hee Haw. Nice dominate the Christmas donkey. Keehan Reagan's dog, Millie, and cat Jasper. Boris the Badger, two cats called Poppy and Harris. There we go. Merry Christmas to all of your pets. Roger Badister there. Very common find. Uh, when you said Peggy the Chihuahua, she sat up and looked at me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Spooky. Sam's cat Lily, Lily and hamster Ozzy. Very cool. We've got a Sherlock Holmes there. That's much more common. Well, at least it, it appears to be like it's going to be a common one. We don't know for sure. Waiting until the minted figures come out. Percy the Adder. Wow. No, Ashley Sparrowhawk, you're not going to catch me out. <laughs> uh, Harrison All wants a shout out. There you go. There's your shout out. Whoopsie. Where are you going? Whoops. Crash Bang Wallop. Callum McLeod's Frank, uh, dog Frankie. Chris, what colour are your eyes, please? I'm getting some fan art. I've got blue eyes. Fan art, wowee. This is getting silly. Good luck with the 50 piece. <laughs> Holy Toledo. Uh, Kendall has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much. We've got dictionary there. Ooh, 
Who was just mentioning the Lockton Ram? It is Lockton, isn't it? That's how you say it. I always get this wrong. Holy Toledo. What an awesome coin. What a stunner. Harrison Orr, says, Harrison Orr says, give my mum Fiona a shout out, please. There you go. How much did you buy my pod worth? I don't know, 13, 16, 17 pounds? Tops? What year is this? 2017. Wowee. That's keep for sure. We've got 2017's Peter Rabbit. Very, very common. And another Sherlock Holmes. You have been streaming for a long time. Correct. But we're coming towards the end now. This is the last bag of coins to look through. And then it'll be all over for another weekend. But don't fear, I'll be back next Sunday for a live stream. Same time, same place. What's my favourite face value 50p? Uh, it might even be people act. It might be people act. We've got a 2016. That could be a puddle duck. That could be puddle duck. Nope, it's Team GB. Very, very common. There's a the dictionary. Add that to the pile of dictionaries we're getting. Oh, I see a Battle of Britain coming up. Get these two out of the way. Imagine if one of them had been key cards. I said, right, let me just get these out of the way. <laughs> so in Battle, Battle of Britain, Battle Alone, Battle Alone, Battle of Britain and Battle of Britain alone with the 50 Ps, you can find two initials on the obverse, the side with the Queen's head. IRB stands for Ian Rank Broadly, which is only put into the collector's sets. Um, so if that's, got, if that's been broken out of the set and paid into circulation or paid into a bank, there's a chance you can find it in your change or in your uh, coin hunts. JC was the one that was issued into circulation, so have a look to see what we've got. So it says just there. What does it say? JC. It's difficult to see with this camera. Just there it says JC. One of these days I will find an IRB Battle of Britain. Chris is a vegan. No way am I a vegan. Unless bacon and steaks start growing on trees, I couldn't be a vegan. Oh, we got another Scouts there. We found a Scouts in the last bag, didn't we? Very cool. Uh, what's your favourite favorite animal? Uh, I'm a cat person. I quite like cats. Sam wants a shout-out for his whole family. I reckon you've had a, sh a shout-out for your whole family, one by one. <laughs> a couple of you have, at least. Why don't I like vegans? I've not got a problem with a vegan. I couldn't be a vegan. If you want to be a vegan, crack on with it. It doesn't affect me in the slightest, does it? But I have no problem with people being vegans. I just know that I couldn't. <laughs> Don't repeat questions immediately. <laughs> Is that what people are doing? Yeah, if I've answered the question, the best bet is not to ask it straight away again. Dictionary's there. Very common. Do I like Oasis? Uh, if, well, if I'm at a, um, if I'm in McDonald's, I would probably order a Coca-Cola first. Let's 
shout out King Aria, great person, definitely. Will the rare coins have that not round but also kind of round shape? Huh? Got girl guiding there, that's fairly common. It's nice to get a variety. Paddington at St. Paul's. Just saying, two St. Paul's, no towers. Surely you'd order an iron brew over a Coca-Cola. What fast food places do you actually do iron brew? I don't think I've ever known, I've known that. I don't know, McDonald's or um, Burger King, KFC. To my knowledge, don't do, don't do, um, do that. How long have you been on YouTube for? We've been live streaming today for just under two and a half hours. Uh, but I made it, uh, this uh, this February will be my second year of making coin videos on YouTube. Pretty bonkers to think, isn't it? How time flies. McDonald's do iron brew in Scotland. Really? Really? I did not know that. I'd definitely order iron brew at a, at a, um, a McDonald's. I like iron brew. So what I don't like is Diet Coke. Coke Zero. Which I think I got when I went to the cinema the other day, which I was not particularly impressed with. Because you can taste the difference. You can taste the difference. Oh, but 2017, 2017 shield. Very nice. That's a keeper as well. I see a Paddington. Paddington at the tower. But don't worry, we found two at the cathedral, one at the tower. So the odds are staying correct on this hunt. Uh, is there any Discord mods on right now? Uh, quite a few of the Discord mods are moderators across Twitch and YouTube as well. We drifted away from coins again. <laughs> Easily done. Benjamin Bunny there. Most common commemorative OTP that we find. We have found tons and tons and tons of Benjamin Bunnies. The question is, will I get to a thousand Benjamin, Benjamin Bunnies before finishing that book? Probably. <laughs> the rate it's going, probably. When does the stream end? Uh, we've got about six or seven bags left to go. So it'll end, probably, it's come up in around half past eight now. I would imagine about half eight. Whoopsie. Statistically, you would need to find about 1,100 Benjamins for every one Q. Really? Well, we're knocking on to that, to be fair. Does your Benjamin Bunny counter include the Benjamin Bunny bust? No, because that was a book. I got the Benjamin Bunny bust video was in book number one. I haven't had a Benjamin Bunny bust whilst working on book number two. because so I reset it when I started new books. Is Q the rarest coin in the world? Nope. It's the rarest coin in circulation in the UK though.
Oh, we've got a Mrs. Tiggy Winkle from 2016. The only 2016... Does she look... She looks a bit, a bit angry with her eyes there. Is that just me that thinks that? She was sort of glaring. There's another Rodney Rabbit. It's my favourite coin ever. Frankenstein £2 coin. It's a stunning coin. There we go. Three cathedrals, one tower. Just saying. Just saying. What's my favourite Olympic 50p? Probably gymnastics. I think it's a really cool design. Magpie Mills wants a shout out. There you go. Was 2001. I thought it was 2011 then for a moment. Got a bit excited. Happy New Year's, Chris. And happy, happy New Year's to you as well, Jamal. It's 2019 Q Gardens Rare. Well, it's not intended for circulation. But I believe you can still buy them. Any reason you're collecting these specific coins? Uh, well, well, why collect anything? Uh, some of the coins are rarer than others. But Paddington at some uh, at um, what was it Paddington at Paddington Station? Crumbs. My brain is not working. So yeah, some of them are rare, and it's fun trying to find them. We're trying. To, I'm trying to get a complete a book of every single different design. There we go. That one's slightly more than face value. Peter Rab, 2016. Very nice. We are seeing less and less of the 2016s, to be fair. We've got one, two, three, four, five bags to go, and then we're all done. What would you do if you found something like a Wallace and Gromit in one of your hunts? I would be over the moon. I would be over the moon if that was the case. I have found NIFCs before. Never a commemorative NIFC, but I found the years. We've got the UK's entry into the EEC. That's another one that's like more than face value. Lovely design. A keeper for sure. And then we have Paddington at the tower. Twenty seventeen shield. Did you see one? Well, it's alright. I'll be hunting through these at the end of the video. End of the live stream. I'll be over on Discord. She said it, I got it. You couldn't have been saying Kew Gardens, could you? <laughs> Can we try that in a bit? Uh, dictionary there, that's a more common one. What do you think about the new Strike Your Own £2 coin next month? I'm looking forward to it. We haven't had a £2 Strike Your Own for some time. Was there even a, was the Britannia £2 a Strike Your Own last year? I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was the second one. Or was it? Racking my brains to think now. 2016 could be a Puddle Duck. Could be a Puddle Duck. Let's have a look. Peter Rabbit again. So, not the worst. Very cool. Do 
think it was. The second one this year, yeah. Okay, it definitely was then. You know, when you say something, you just think, was that right? Is that right? And there was a load, and there were loads of weak strikes. Ah. Yeah. Coins to collect my cousin, cousin snatched my phone and wrote that. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. Paddington at the tower. Uh oh. That's them drawing. They're level. We better not find another tower. We best not find another tower. There we go. Paddington at St. Paul's takes the lead again. Because it's going to be the most common one. Hands down. Hands down. Public library's there. Another common one. Can you film the actual striking of the coin? You can't, no. You can't do any filming whilst on the actual tour itself. You can film in the exhibition afterwards. But all of a sudden, we're on the last bag of this live stream. So a big thank you to everyone that's tuned in. We've had not as much luck with, this, with the last two bags, but there we go, another Paddington at St. Paul's. Pulling two ahead of Paddington at the Tower. Because the Tower is going to be the elusive one of the two. I can just feel it. But like I said, I'll be over on Discord in the next 20 minutes or so. On the voice chats, if you want to come and say hi, if you're over the age of 13, feel free to do so. But there we go. That's your lot. But So what's the star pull from this one? It's got to be that one. The Locked and Ram. Holy Toledo, what a coin that is. That's my favourite Territories coin. It just looks stunning, doesn't it? Well, so who's still over on Twitch then? Because the Twitch, will, Twitch uh, side of the stream will end first. We've got uh, Jury24, uh, Herefordshire, Danny, Amber, Wakeling, Total Coins, Jury, 16, Key and Reagan, Magpie, Millsmaster, Temple, Trail for Buddy, uh, ha Harry's Nan, The Coin Collector. I've seen Chucky Garden. I've seen Frankie Franks over there. Thank you very much for watching over on Twitch. Uh, we're going to find someone to raid, and then we will end the duty. What's it? Let's go with cooking with Kate again. But there we go. Thank you for tuning in, OG and Traders1968, Magpie Mills. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye. For those of you that are still on YouTube, though, a massive thank you to all the moderators, uh, to Kim H, Tom, Tony Beckett, Spongebrat, Tamara Postma, Oceans Gem Jack Le Breton, holy moly, Coins to, uh, Coins and More UK, Denise Haynes, Tobias, Tobias Rem, Coin Cupboard, Laura Stokes, Coin Pig, Shuey08, One Wheel Shane, Alice the Great. I wonder if, that's, if that Alice is a different Alice that I know about. Alice the Great, thank you for tuning in. Uh, oh my days. <laughs> Very good. Snapdragon, Ashley Sparrowhawk, Kurt, um, Matthew Whitmore, Robin GW, One Wheel Shane, Ryan McLeod, Martin Thomas, Fitz 101. Um, I will see you all next year, definitely. Coins to collect, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Mujib Akla. Oh, whatever your name is. Thank you for tuning in. Norfolk Coin Hunter Leet, Robin GW, Just Stevie, Josh Collects, Hold On, says hi, hello, Ollie, Gary Bailey, Alice the Great, oh thanks, what Alice? Uh, it must not be, it must not be then. Tony Miller, oh my days again. Uh, thank you very much for watching. When's the next PO Box? Potentially Thursday, so stay tuned for that. But as ever, thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much, Laughter and Lisa Dalton. Coin, um, Caledonian Coins. Uh, who else tuned in? Hello, Scottish Craig. Uh, dry your eyes. Your time here is over. Exactly. <laughs> Absolute Coins. Thank you for tuning in as well at what uh, during the middle of the stream. The weirdest channel on YouTube. Jeff the Talking Mongoose. The unconventional, unconventional marathon runner. The JQ Robin G W Fifty P Hunter Sponge Brat Judas Galaxy Ryan McLeod. I'm running out of breath. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins.